Well, I'm glad to have this opportunity to uh, tell you a little bit about SMTI, Strengthening Ministries Training Institute. Uh, we exist for the purpose of training people uh, from churches under the leadership of their churches and how to use the Word of God to help people with the various issues, problems in their lives. We um, have a program uh, of training here with a uh, full curriculum, uh, starting with uh, introduction to biblical counseling, what biblical counseling is all about, and we move on to a course which we call Methods of Biblical Counseling, where we have a paradigm, a scriptural paradigm, about how to help people, either in counseling or discipleship, because counseling is really a form of discipleship. There are three kinds of discipleship. One is what we call evangelism, because you can't be a disciple of Jesus Christ until you've been evangelized and made a commitment to Christ. And then having come to Christ, there is what we could call normal discipleship, where you're taught the rudiments of the Christian faith, theology, and how to live the Christian life. And then the third kind of discipleship is what we call remedial discipleship, where you help people with specific problems because we come into the Christian life uh, with some baggage. We're kind of like that uh, man in John chapter 11. Uh, he had died and he was put in the grave. Jesus came and he said, Lazarus, come forth. And so Lazarus came back to life. And at that point, uh, he still had the grave clothes on. And Jesus said, loose him and let him go. And when we uh, come to Jesus Christ, we're born again. The Bible says we're raised. Uh, by him and with him uh, to a new hope. And at that point, we still have some of the uh, problems, some of the lifestyles, some of the ways of thinking, uh, some of the ways of reacting uh, that are true in our lives. And uh, consequently, we need help sometimes in terms of uh, uh, remedial issues of uh, getting rid of certain habits that we develop, which are not really godly, they're not really Christ-like. And so our second course is Methods of Biblical Counseling, in which we develop what I call the eight eyes, which lays out a paradigm uh, for our discipleship or for counseling. And so we train people in doing that. And then we have uh, courses on uh, theology of uh, Christian counseling, the theological basis, uh, because we believe that in, at its essence, all of our problems are basically theological issues, either theological issues because we don't know uh, theology, or uh, secondly, we don't know how to put it into practice in our lives. And so we uh, teach a theological basis of Christian counseling, uh, because uh, we need to help people to understand the Word of God in very practical ways, accurate ways, as far as the Scriptures are concerned. And then we move on from that to another course, which is called uh, Christian Life Issues, in which we deal with uh, what it means to become a Christian, how you become a Christian, the earlier uh, uh, phases of the Christian life, and then on through the rest of the Christian life until uh, the last uh, step is... Uh, in heaven, and we use actually a Pilgrim's Progress as our basic uh, textbook for that particular course because we believe that Bunyan, John Bunyan, the author of that book, has laid out for us a wonderful description of the Christian life from its beginning in chapter 1 to its consummation in chapter 17, uh, which is uh, a picture of heaven. And then we have courses on marriage and family issues, the general uh, marriage and family issues, uh, what is marriage, uh, husband-wife issues. We deal a lot with the uh, matter of communication and uh, also conflict resolution. And then we have a course which is called Marriage and Family Topics, in which we deal with specific topics 
uh, that are, are relate to marriage or family, uh, one of them being uh, the issue of uh, uh, divorce. What does the Bible say about divorce? How do you help people who are thinking about divorce? Uh, we deal with the issue of sex. What does the Bible say about sex? Uh, sexual problems are one of the main problems that marriages have, uh, pe married people have in their marriage. And so we need to be ready to help them with what the Word of God says about that. And on and on through finances, what does the Bible say about finances? Uh, the big three as far as marriage counseling is concerned are uh, number two and number three are uh, sex and finances. And so we uh, help people with those particular issues. Uh, we spend quite a bit of time on parenting, uh, what it means to be a parent God's way and how to be the mother and father God wants you to be. We have, of course, one of the topics was on rebellious children, what to do about rebellious children. And so we are offering those kinds of courses in our uh, SMTI program. And then we move on from there to what we call problems and procedures. And what we do is deal with specific problems that people experience, very common problems. The most common problems, such as anger, uh, depression, anxiety, and on and on, uh, topic after topic, where we go to the Word of God. How do you identify what the problem is? Or how do you help people to know what the solution is? And then the discipleship process of helping them put into pr practice uh, their uh, the issues, the uh, topics that are presented in the Word of God. And so we go on from there, and we have a, a course which is called Observation, where we have actual counseling sessions where uh, students sit and watch others who are counseling. They're allowed to ask questions. Uh, there is a the discussion of why, why they did things the way that they did and, and uh, the, the whole process of just not only telling them what to do, it's showing them and then discussing what's going on. And so we have that course. We have a bit of a practicum where they act actually practice counseling under observation and making suggestions to them about things that they uh, could have done or that they should have done. And so it's a whole program of, uh, it's a master's program that I developed and I taught at the master's university in uh, Santa Cruz, California. We brought it over here and we're teaching people that. And by this time we've had uh, several hundred students from various places in South Africa and as far away as Zambia and some from uh, Zimbabwe and uh, uh, from uh, Mozambique and from uh, Botswana as well so that we are uh, involved in helping uh, people to learn how to use the Word of God in the churches. 